Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Under Mary's Mantle. My name is Monique and today I want to talk about five things that as Catholic parents we really should be teaching our children. The very first thing that we need to make sure that our children know is that God's mercy is endless and that He loves us so so much. It's very important that they know that no matter what no matter what goes on in their lives, no matter what they do or what they don't do, God is there for them, waiting for them to turn and run to him. See, God sent his only son to die for us because he loved us so, so much. This is something we need to make sure that our children understand. Now, I've heard people grow up and grow out of the Catholic Church because they said that they were never told or it was never understood by them how merciful God is. As young as our kids are, they need to understand and know that God's love is so, so big, so much more than we could ever understand. And He is there waiting for us to go to Him, to run to Him, to call on Him. Of course, this will take some work from us as well. God is not just there for us to walk all over, but He is definitely there waiting with open arms for each and every one of us. The second thing as Catholic parents that we should really be teaching our children are the two rules of life. There is the first rule to love God first and the second rule to love all others, love our neighbors and enemies as ourselves. This is what Jesus teaches us in the Gospels. I know that there are the Ten Commandments as well and the Beatitudes and there are so many other things that give us ways to live our life or things to do or not do. However, everything is embodied in these two very important rules. If we love God first, everything else will fall into place. If we can love and trust Him enough to give Him our hearts and our souls. If we love others as we love ourselves, then we wouldn't break those commandments of murder and stealing. We would never want to do that to ourselves. So loving God first and loving everyone else as ourselves. Those are the two golden rules of life, and those are something that all our children need to know. The third thing that I recommend teaching our children as Catholics is God's presence, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. Teach them that when we're in Mass, Jesus is present. When we go to a Catholic church, Jesus is present. I started noticing that my children, when we would leave Mass, they would say bye to Jesus, and they would be saying bye to Jesus, waving at the crucifix, seeing Jesus on the cross. Now, yes, this is a representation of, of Jesus, but I wanted them to understand that Jesus is not just on a crucifix, but he's there present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. He is there with us, waiting for us in every Catholic church. So I taught them that when we say bye to Jesus, we look at the tabernacle and we say bye because he is there. That is where Jesus rests, in the tabernacle. And when we go to Eucharistic Adoration, I show them that there Christ is present so that they can understand when we go into Mass and leave Mass or go into a church and leave church, where Christ is. This is the center of our faith, the Holy Eucharist. As children, they can begin to learn and understand the true presence of Christ. Of course, also, Jesus is God, which God is present everywhere and within our hearts, but he is physically present in the Eucharist in our churches. The fourth thing that I would recommend teaching our children is that we need to live our life with Christ and in doing so our goals should be to become saints. Our lives should reflect Christ and our children should recognize that. We should teach them that we need to help others, we need to be compassionate and loving towards others, understanding, firm, we need to do all of this with Christ within us. As St. Patrick's quote says, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. This is a way that we should live our Catholic faith. And our children really, really should have that goal of becoming saints. Make this something that is known as early as you possibly can. Don't be embarrassed to tell them that they should want to be saints, that we should want to be saints. This is nothing to be ashamed of. I know some people may think it's weird when we say we want to be saints, but that is what Jesus calls us 
to be. St. Paul calls us saints already, so let's teach our children to live our lives with the goal of becoming a saint, of leading others to Christ, of reflecting Christ in everything we do and everything we say, in the way we act, in the way we react, and everything about us should reflect Christ. And lastly, number five, we as Catholic parents need to make sure that our children know that they are never alone. Not only do we have each other here on earth to pray for one another, but we have so many friends and family in heaven. God has given us the communion of saints. We are all one. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So we have Mama Mary as our Queen Mother to protect us and to guide us and to lead us always to her Son. We have God's army of angels in heaven. We have our guardian angel that is our forever friend, our companion. We have the saints which are all great role models for us to follow, but also our friends in heaven that can pray for us, that can pray for our needs and can intercede by helping us obtain virtues that are needed to become saints as we talked about in the fourth thing. It all goes together. God has provided for us his love, his mother, his saints and angels to help us along the way. So it is important for our children to recognize that they're never, never alone. There are so many ways that God has opened up communication for us directly with him or with the angels and the saints and Mama Mary. And this opens up to teach our children to pray by showing them that we can communicate with God directly or through intercession. I hope you found this video encouraging and useful. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with any parents or grandparents that have an influence in raising Catholic children. We need to start teaching our children and educating them in our faith as early as we possibly can. It is something that I'm very passionate about and I'm really hoping that this can just light fires in all your hearts um, to make sure that we are just lifting up our children in the faith and teaching them the beauty that is to be Catholic. Let's raise disciples of Christ. Let's raise saints. And it all starts in the home. It all starts by beginning little by little to educate them. God bless each and every one of you, your families, your children, and peace be with you. I will see you next time. Bye.